I know these four tips will slash your handicap that. in half. Absolutely drop so many shots, you will not believe it. Now, I'm gonna talk through four course management tips that aren't spoken about on YouTube. And I'll be honest, they aren't spoken about because they're not the glamorous side of changing your swing. But these practically will lower your scores quicker and make you a better golfer. So the first one is approach shots and aiming. Let's start off with that region. I'm 150 yards out from the flag here. But from 130 to 160, all I want you to do is have the idea of going for the middle of the green. I know this sounds basic, but so often people are drawn into going for the flag. So what I do in this 130 to 160 zone is forget the flag completely. And even actually when I go a bit further out to 180, I do the same thing. But 130 out, middle of the green. Now to do this dead easy, if you look at this on player cam, I hold my club up and I just pick a little spot that is the middle of the green, which is there, which is actually way right of this flag. I place my club down and then I get aim to the middle of that green. Right, let's hit this one away. There's part of your first tip of approach shots and then we're gonna move a little closer. Actually, I've just pulled that a little bit and it's ended up on the flag. Perfect, but see, if you pull it and you're aiming at the flag, I would have missed the green there. Okay, let's move a little closer. Second part of approach shots, we've now got 126, so we're inside that 130 zone. Now that, I'm gonna hit a nine iron here. I was gonna go wedge, but nine iron, I think. Now, I always think about approach shots this way, and inside this zone, depending on where the flag is, so listen carefully to what I'm about to say here. And you can control this with just where you grip on the club. So if you've got a back flag, we always want to play a little short of that, okay? Take yards off that number. If you've got a front flag at 126, we wanna add five yards and go past that. So how you can do this is, I always grip, right, for standard shots right in the middle. So round about there. So I've got a little bit of leeway to go up and I've got a little bit of leeway to go down. So if my flag is at the back, I never ever want to miss that long. I can't miss that long because then I'm short-sided. I want to play to the big bit. So what I do then is if my flag's at the back, I choose the club that would get there, but I grip down slightly. I grip down slightly just like that. Okay. If my flag is at the front, I grip up slightly to allow that ball and that club to generate a little bit more speed and go a little bit further past that flag into the middle of the green. So can you see how that knowledge of where your flag is front to back, you can maximize your chance of hitting the green, hitting more greens, lowers your scores. So here we go. Let's pop this one in here close. I've gripped down slightly because that flags towards the back. That's a beautiful hit. That is a corker. Tip number two is getting out the trees, but not only just getting it out, but getting it down there. So look at this, right? I wanna get it down there as far as I can, but I need to keep it low. So first thing, go and choose one of your lowest lofted clubs. I got my four iron in my hand here. It could be your five iron, it could even be your six iron. Now, first thing, first thing you're gonna do is grip down towards the steel. Shorten the lever, a little bit easier to control. The next thing you need to do, and look at this from player cam, I'm gonna move the ball towards the back of my stance. And I'm gonna go back half of my stance here. And then, as you move face on, look what this has done to my shaft lean of my golf club. Look at this. As I move the ball back in my stance, I increase the shaft lean and taking loft off, okay? And then I'm gonna place the weight on my left hand side. And when I'm hitting this shot, I keep my weight here throughout, throughout, and that's it. It's as easy as that. So low lofted club, ball back, hands forward, weight left. That is how I hit it. And the final thing I just think about when I hit the shot is finish low, don't finish high. Okay, look how low this goes. Look at that, finish low. I've got it out, but I've got it down there closer to the green. Let's move on to tip number three. I fall foul for this every single time, guys. And if you are enjoying this video at any point, please do consider hitting that thumbs up button. It helps me and it helps this video grow. Now, next one is, look at this, par five. 
I got 230 yards to flag. Now it's very, very tempting to go and grab three wood and go for it every single time. But I guarantee this, every time you go for it, you're more likely you're going to make a double over making a birdie, right? So why take that chance? So what I want you to do is not thinking about going for every par five and two. I want you to leave yourself a hundred yards every time. So nice and simple. All you do is you lazy your flag or you use your watch or use an app on your phone. How far is it to the flag? Okay, I've got 230 yards. So to leave myself a hundred yard shot, all I need to hit is 130 yards. So that's just like a like a nice pitching wedge, nine iron. Now I know it feels like you're wasting a shot, but what you're doing is you're getting to the same yardage every time. So two things here, you always hit and lay up to the same yardage. You get really good at hundred yards. And if we're honest, those half shots or those difficult chip shots around the green are always hard. But also on short par fours, when you've got around hundred yards, you're gonna be mint at them. You're gonna be so good. So. Think about leaving yourself 100 yards. It just requires a nice wedge that is safely in there, down there, in play, away from all the trouble, leaving myself an easy shot in. Have a look where this one finished. Perfect, round about 100 yards left into this hole. Okay, the fourth and final tip. I do this before I even go out on the golf course. I grab my card and have a look at this here. I separate it into six sets of three. That way, I reset after each three. So the first three is my first round, the next three is my next round, and the final three signifies nine holes. I do the same on the back nine. That way, you think about it, you have a bad two or three holes, you reset quicker than rather than going, I'll reset after nine. Honestly, it's the best hack to help you score, break down the scorecard, break down your score. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell.